Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride for the Android and iOS. Bonus episodes! So, in the last episode, Nera fell down. She went boom. And she found out it was probably exhaustion. Anyways, we're going to head down the Gotham path, which is going to be a lot quicker than how I did it before, because I'm not going to get all the treasures. So, I just kind of want to go through... Really quick. There are a couple spots I am gonna stop at, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get every goddamn treasure. If I see something, I might pick it up. If I don't see it, if I if I do see it, hell I still might not pick it up. But yeah. Just pre pretty much it's pretty much I'm just trying to get Nera's uh you know. Well well, this is kind of a clue right here. Where there are other, the, pretty much the way that you have to go is, is to uh, jump down a hole that you can't get to. And here we pick up restless armor, which I do believe is cursed, so worthless. All right, so now I want to come. Yeah, sometimes traveling isn't fun. Sometimes traveling is a lot of fun. Who knows? Anyways, let's keep going around. Yeah, I'll pick this up. Ooh, a Yadrasia leaf. That'll be very useful. Alright, so there we go. We beat that. Uh, I'm not getting that treasure up there. Let's come up over here. And, uh... Yeah, well... I guess we're going into the mountain... You know what's kind of interesting is if someone this is obviously this can't be a man-made area. How do people get out of Gotha? If this is the way to get in, how do people get out of it? I mean, obviously they must know how they're go wh what way they're going. Yeah, I want to come over here because I want to talk to this guy here. Now, if you're honest with this guy and pretty much tell them that uh, you you do not own any of this stuff, he will actually give you all of the stuff. So, a TNT ticket, worthless, especially for this run through. A mini metal, very good, and a flowing dress, which is really good. It's honestly like the second best ar or the third best armor for Percy, because he. Uh, he can actually equip the dress, which is weird, but... Yeah, let's give it to Percy. It'll actually negate fire damage, too, so that's good. And, uh, and maybe even lightning damage, I don't remember. But, uh... You'd figure that that'd, that'd probably... Be... Lightning damage would be probably be more or whatever. But anyways, uh... Yeah. So let's get the hell out of here now. Which what we have to do, if I remember correctly, is we come up these stairs. And up here. But yeah, you know, someone who lives in Battenberg or whatever it is up there, they could make a killing for travelers who want to go to Gotha by like knowing the the way and could be like, oh yeah, we gotta go this way down here and over here, boom, boom, boom. Alright, so sixteen hundred gold. And what you wanna do is fall down this hole here. And this will lead to the way out. And there we go. We're pretty much all, almost all the way out. We're on the ground floor. But yeah, maybe ladders. Maybe they could invest in a couple of ladders or something. Or a teleporter. I don't know. That could be something they can invest in. That They would make a killing. Anyone who wants to visit Gotha. Yeah, like Sancho knows how to get there. Yeah, I know Sancho. Sancho Panza. Oh yeah, so okay, so I think Nera I think I think here's how it goes, alright? I think each wife uses a different term to 
talk to Kenshin, or your main character. So I think Darling is uh, Bianca. I think Honey, or no, maybe it's Honey is Bianca, Darling is Nera, and, uh, I don't know. Hobby, I think, is Deborah. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, so, talking about the prince, the queen being gone, and the Zenith in there, and all that. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to talk to some of these people just to get Nera's, uh, Nera's thing. And I do apologize, this episode is going to be a little long. But honestly, you know, I've been kind of, I'll, I'll admit this to you, I've been kind of addicted to doing, um, to watching videos in double speed on YouTube, so I don't fault you for doing it. Because I, uh, honestly, I, that's what I do now. I just double speed everything. And then I'm able to see more content. And that's a good thing sometimes, and it's a bad thing in some cases with the other stuff, I guess, so. I guess they don't like, uh, Albert. Although I'm sure he's a fine person. Probably a good dude. Yeah, so we can't go in there. I honestly thought you could, but I guess we'll need a different key. And yeah, Mr. Sancho, he doesn't want to come to church anymore. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, this guy's sleeping over here. I see his valiant figure. Well, he was pretty awesome. It's, it is a shame to lose such a good dude, but what are you gonna do? I mean, life stinks. And life is not fair. Alright, so this is the soldier's quarters, and we can't go over here. Yeah, we'll just have to keep looking. So yeah, I, uh, I have been really working on trying to get these videos out on a consistent basis, and I hope you'll be very proud of me, because I have been... I do have the next few episodes already scheduled, they're ready to roll, so... Not scheduled in the essence of, like, it's already uploaded, but, you know... I've already recorded the footage, and... It's all good now. So... Yeah, let me go back over here. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to stay, to, stay ahead. I've finally been able to get a little bit of time... And now I'm going to try and stay ahead of the game so that I can have some Dragon Quests up every day because I want to finish this within like a week or two so that I can actually work on Dragon Quest 6 so that I can actually say that I've done every Dragon Quest up to 7 this year as a part of the 30th anniversary of Dragon Quest. And then once I'm finished with 6, I'll probably do Joker 2... Although I heard Joker 3 is going to be the last one of that series. Which is kind of sad, but what are you going to do? But, uh, what else? I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, so after Dragon Quest Monsters, uh, Joker 2, I'll probably do some Dragon Quest Builders... Maybe some Dragon Quest heroes. But I have a... I, uh, I was talking with my sister. And we have a different... I, I think I'm going to do a different way of capturing some footage for those games. 
rather than sit down and capture like 20 minute, 25 to 30 minute, chun you know, chunks, maybe I'll, what I'll end up doing is I'll do a stream of the game and then I'll upload the stream to YouTube. We'll see. If people have any idea, let me know, you know, if you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. But yeah, this, I am your friend. Yes, I am a man now. And not only am I a man, but I am a married man. Yes, this is my wife, Nera. It's, it's too much. I, I, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, so apparently Pancrantz was the king of Gotha, and Albert is my uncle. But yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the bonus content of this game. I know that I am one of the only people who's actually going through this game pretty thoroughly. Maybe not as thoroughly as, like, showing off how to get every monster or whatnot, but at least I am showing off the various differences between the wives. And honestly, I think that the next wife, Deborah, that we're going to get is a lot more entertaining than Nera. No offense to Nera. She's very cool, but she's, she's just a little too similar to Bianca. Yeah, look at that. I'm older now. And I'm here. And this is my wife. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Is she alright? What's wrong with her? She passed out from exhaustion. She's sick. What's what do you mean? Kay? Are you ready to be a father? What do you mean? Yeah, I guess. How is she pregnant? I must have super sperm or something. Yeah, so now she's pregos. I can't believe it, she's pregnant. I knocked you up? Alright, well, yes, thank you. Thank you for... Thank you. And now you're back and there's a baby gonna come on along? This is crazy. Who would have thought? And how many months pregnant is she? That's why I always figured it probably took some time between when they got married and when they eventually got the Gotha. Honestly, I'd say maybe... I don't know, six, seven months maybe? I don't know. And yeah, so Albert is gonna hand the reins over to me. Yes. So we, we have to go through the rite of passage thing. And yeah, our the Chancellor is acting a little shady if if you you know. Actually not a little, he's acting a lot of shady. thought I was a prince, a bona fide prince. Yeah, you're not gonna let me down. Don't worry about it. So anyways, what I am going to do, pretty much, is I'm going to cut it here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and, uh, I'll probably do the rite of passage thing without you. Oh, no, no, you know what I want to show before? Or not without you, but, you know, I'm just gonna do it off screen just because... There's no difference between that and Bianca, but I do want to show you something 
before we, before I, uh, you know, cut to the next clip, I want to show you how to get the uh, monster chest set early during the second generation here. So if you come over here and you talk to, not you, if you come over here and talk to this guy, his name is Thrupence, and he's playing monster chess. Now he's looking for his chess piece, which is right near here. And yeah, we're going to take this and we're going to give it to him. Yeah, see, this is where you would find out a little bit more about the Chancellor and how he's kind of a little shady. Because apparently this game is very addictive and it's pretty much letting the castle guards not pay attention to what they're supposed to be doing. But yeah, I'll take it from you. So this is how you would get it earlier. But I screwed it up and I didn't get it earlier, so I just wanted to show that off. So yeah, the monster chest set is pretty much the knickknack from Gotha. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to <clears throat> pretty much just jump ahead <coughs> to after when I've gotten the symbol. And then we'll just continue on with the story. And we'll show Nera and hopefully the babies that she brings into this world. So let's do it. All right, so here we are. We got this the uh, symbol of freedom or royalty or whatever. So now we're gonna uh, go and talk with uh, with the king and become the new ruler guy or whatever. Yeah. So apparently we have to stay with Sancho because at night the chancellor has told the guards not to let anybody in. Which is kind of dumb. And let's talk. Let's check out... I didn't get a chance to look at his room earlier. Now we'll get to look at it. Yeah, he placed an embargo. Yeah, the Chancellor is, is kind of shady. Bonus noches. Bonus dias. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go see the let's go see uh, Prince Albert. Yep. Yeah, so. Really nothing uh, different about this, although, uh, you know, there's really nothing different. Now that I think about it, maybe I, maybe I, I don't know, I, I wanted to show off that you, you couldn't come here in the night, at night, so. I did it, Mr. Jeeves, I know you're going to betray me. I know it, I just know it. So before we talk to the king, let's come up here and talk to Nera again. Alright, I won't worry about it. Uh, no, I don't need to rest. Yeah, that's alright. So yeah, you knocked her up. Who would have thought knocking up so quick, man? All right, jolly good show. Yeah, Jeeves, you son of a bitch. You're a real piece of shit. You know that? Yeah, he's a funny old bird. Someone should kill him. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they should kill him. I'm sure he'll die soon enough. <laughs> Great Scott! Oh my god! 
88 miles an hour. You're gonna start to see some serious shit. Alright, let's go upstairs and see how Panera's doing. Alright, where do you want me to stand terrified, huh? I don't wanna see her give birth. Just where do you want me to stand being terrified? All right, well, that's cool. Thank you. I'm sure the kid's going to be great. You know what? I'm going to go downstairs. I don't need to see the craziness. The third baby you delivered. So she delivered me. What did she deliver? Albert and uh, Pancrans? So similar, similarly, similarly to the beginning of the game. We are now taking the place of Pancrance as he paces around, waiting for a baby to be born, which will eventually be you. Yeah, I'm sure he was pretty happy. He's a, he's a, he's a great dad. He was a great pop. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here, Sancho, because you're a real good friend. Ooh. Sounds like a baby was born. Yeah, I'm a dad. Yes, thank you. Yeah, let's go see my wifey. Alright, let's see the wife. What? There's two kids? Holy God. Yeah, he's unique, huh? Yeah, sure. You're a good wife. Alright, so now we get to decide who, what to call these children. And yeah, I'm not naming them Perry. I'm gonna name this one after my one of my favorite uh, Game of Thrones characters, Davos. Davos Seaworth, the Onion Knight. And this girl, I am actually gonna call. I'm actually gonna call her. Yeah, I had to go make sure that I had the right spelling. Ramona. I'm gonna call her Ramona. I like that name, Ramona. Davos and Ramona. It's a good name. Good, good couple names. But yeah, like I said, I had to make sure it wasn't Ro... Ro I didn't want to name her Romona. Alright, so there you go. So we had two kids. A son and a daughter. Everybody's happy that Kenshin's going to be the new king. Yeah, I hope it goes smoothly, too. Yeah, so here we go. They're not... See, she was adopted. Her and Deborah were both adopted. Just like Bianca. And they sent her to the Abbey because she had a special destiny. Yep, well, you, you know what? We'll find out more about your destiny later. Or maybe we won't. I honestly don't know. It is kind of interestingly... It is kind of interesting how Nero tells you that you're pretty much... She's pretty much adopted. And there's Davos. And Ramona. Alright, let's go. Too bad Pancrance isn't alive to... To see his grandkids. Honestly, I think next time I do this, I'll probably cut this part out. Just because it's the same thing. Lady of by the goddess, and da 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 da. You're the new king, yay! You know, honestly, I wish that they'd let you have an item called Kingly Cape or something. 
And it would change the sprite because that's a badass sprite. And yeah, I know I'm going through this a little quick here, but we've already read all this before. Yay, townspeople! I am a king! It's good to be the king. Nah, you can still call me friend. And... So yeah, there we go. We have a celebration. We had a great time. Coronation and all that good stuff, but then Yes, this is where the sneaky shit happens And yeah, sisters are doing it for themselves Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to everybody. I, I can't talk to everybody Yeah, everybody's sleeping Is it because they're all drunk? Who knows? Even the Zenithian got a little, a little tipsy there, huh? You know, is this one of the only times that this song plays? By the way, maybe the final dungeon's got this music. I don't know. All right, let's uh. Sleep or drunk. Let's go visit my wife. Wait, what the hell? Where is she? Oh shit. She's been kidnapped by monsters. Oh no. God damn it. Hey, Sancho. Where was I think she was kidnapped. Yeah, just like twenty years ago. So that must mean it's taken some time to get here. That must mean I'm twenty years old. So four years have passed during the because I was six, then ten years a slave. Then four years between being a slave and now. So I'm twenty? Yeah, and apparently the Chancellor has been, uh, is not here mysteriously, and of course he's an asshole. So, it's all, it's pretty much all his fault. Find them! If you have to comb the desert, find them! Yeah, I'm gonna go look for him myself. Yeah, I have to go. And here's the Zenithian sword that my dad found. You're gonna hold on to it. Because it's going to give you some sort of power. It'll protect the castle, sure. The sword will protect the entire castle. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here. In the next episode, I'll meet you when we're about to rescue Nera. So I've been Kenshin1913, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.